back to Chucker TV. We're live. Ask my Pole Club, McClure River Ranch, field number one, just for the fun of it. All the teams are out here. I'm going to get to my spot, announce the players very quickly, and we'll get this first Chucker underway. Let's go with Team Tonkawa first. Play number one, Jeff Hildebrand. Of course, we'll play number one. Jeff, there you go. Good luck today, Jeff. Always on the run, man. Play number two, Stuart Armstrong. I like Stuart. I still like you in the back, but I like you in the front of the game. Play number three, Pablo McDonough, of course, on a beautiful, great pony. Good luck today, Pablo. And playing the number four will be my man, the Hall of Famer, Horacio Hagee. Horacio, welcome back. That's your green machine. In the white, they are a fun team to watch. He had a little bit of a fall on Friday. He is back. He's got a little injury, but he said he wanted to play. Come on out, John Bigford. He'll still play in the front of the game. The Bigford boys in town. Playing number two, of course, Double G, Grant Gansey. He has been awesome at the number two position. Grant, good luck today. Number three, going to be Juan Cito Bellini. He has been stellar at the number three position. Of course, to round out the team right here, my man, Juan Martin Nero. Juan Mar, good to see you, brother. Always a pleasure. All right, this should be a fun one. These two teams got edged out on Friday, but trust me, it's anybody's game right here. They match up so well. Gaston Dorniak in the saddle. Six chuckers Apollo. Good luck, guys. Good luck. All right, look for our final ride up here. Look like Jeff's going to be in the front. It looks like John Bigford will be in the front here for Casablanca. I'm telling you, these teams, they were so close on Friday. And uh, so anybody's ball game here, good matchup. Juancito on the far side. Bellini. Juancito's going to slam it down on the boards on the far side, take a little turn right here. He's got to deal with McDonough. Pablo's going to give him one play, and I'm sure Juancito will release it. There it is, and he got Juan Martin. Nero going forward. Nero, a little pump fake right there. He got him all by himself now. Juan Ma back to the center. Pablo McDonough dealing with Bellini. Nice hook by Pablo. Look for, oh, John, look at Bigford. John, he said to me, man, that hand was hurting after he fell. But, John, you're going to get the first goal of the day here. So it just shows you when that adrenaline gets going. And, of course, such a competitor, the whole Bigford family. I'll give one to nothing here. We're going to play on the flat here, both 17-goal uh, teams. And they'll switch directions for any of you new viewers. On the move right here as it goes all the way through the back is going to be Horacio Hagee. Horacio was awesome up the high Mesa on Friday. This guy, it just shows you why he was 10 goals. You see the way he places the ball and where he puts it. He's on five goals now, but don't be confused. Bellini will turn it around. Hildebrand's going to go back on defense here. And now Juancito. Oh, good play by Jeff. Picks up John perfectly there. So good read by Hildebrand. And Jeff will back it up nicely right to Pablo McDonough. Perfect pass. Now the give and go, and we got Stewart going forward. John's got to give him one play. There's a little ride off. Now they take it forward. We'll get a whistle on the play on the, uh, on the off-speed ride off. That'll bring it down here for a penalty shot in favor of Team Tonqua. And it looks like we're going to go to a 60-yarder. So penalty four. Remember the ride off. you got to be similar speed right there. John a little slower than Stewart was. And uh, so they'll go ahead and whistle that one up. And they'll take it down to the 60-yard mark. Now, Pablo's saying, man, I want a 40 out of that one. And you always want to get a little bit more. Remember, they're always going to push for a little bit more yardage. But they'll drop this one at the 60. Gaston's going to give Dorney McDonough his choice of balls there. I always like to do that when I was an umpire. You might say, why do you want to give them a choice of different balls to choose from? Well, some of the balls are beat up a little more. Some players like hitting a beat-up ball. Some players like hitting a, a perfectly round new ball. And when it comes to mine, Chris Camps at KK. All right, here comes Big Donna, penalty four. McDonough hits a screamer. Bellini takes it out of the air. And we got a pinball machine down in front. And Bigford says, let's clean it up. So Juancito's going to take his time and try to scoot away here. 
Juancito bounces off the boards. Stewart, Armstrong, Pablo says, bring it forward, Stewart, and give it back to me. He says, well done. Well done, Stewart, right to Pablo. Now Pablo will regroup. Pablo down the center with it. He's going to look for Stewart going the other way now. And Grant Gaines is going to give him one play here as they run the far turn. Armstrong, underneath the neck. That ball is going to go inside, backed up by Bellini. And well read here by Hildebrand, Jeff. Jeff's going to turn around the corner, gets a piece of it. Now Horatio and Grant Ganzi, and well done, G. Nice little play right here as he gets Bigford going forward. Grant Ganzi on the launcher, Bigford on the move right here, John. Bigford, nice pickup, Bigford inside the 60, walking the dog, John Bigford. Oh, there's a power pull of play. Well done, Casablanca. Grant Gansey finding John Bigford, and I got to tell you, I've been giving Bigford love all summer. This guy's got hand-eye coordination. Unbelievable. True, true test. On the move there. That ball was flying. So we'll get a quick courtesy change here. But, and I will tell you, that is a quick courtesy change. I like it. Casablanca jumping on very, very quickly along with Horatio Hagee. So everybody getting on their ponies as quick as possible to keep this one moving. I like it. Well done, guys. That's an awesome, that was the best courtesy change we've had all summer right there. All right, so very good. Bigford getting the first two goals of the day here. On the move right here, Horatio, he'll override, but McDonough and turned inside by Armstrong, and now it's going to be Bellini. Juancito with three minutes in our first chucker. Down the ball, but well read again by Horacio. Hagee. Shout out to all the Hagees in Argentina, of course. The whole crew. I miss you guys, man. Come on back. Walmart's going to check his shoulder. Walmart team, a little, little skip right at the end there on Walmart. Now, oh, Hildebrand's going to get an opportunity. Jeff, he'll go running for that one. He gets around. That one was just skipping. Just a little bad luck on both players. That's a loose ball play there. Go. Yeah, well, you know these guys. Juan Martin banging that one now. Look at Gansey on fresh legs. Grant drags it in nicely. Nice angle right here. Gansey. Oh, I like it, though, Grant. He'll finish the play right there. And good pickup as he takes it back in the 60. And I've been talking about Gansey and Bellini all summer long. And not just how many how they've been playing well, just how smart they've been playing. Finishing plays all day long and keeping it very easy for Juan Martin Nero, the captain. And they've been adding players to them, and they've won a lot of games. Jeff Hildebrand now on a little chest down there. Bigford's going to come over. Jeff's going to slow it down on the boards. Now he gets it moving forward. Jeff will keep it moving. Jeff rides up. Under the neck with it, goes for the next shot. Bigford with a clean play down with Hildebrand. Now, Juancito, cat and mouse with McDonough. Uh-oh, watch out, that's Pablo. Now, well done, Juancito. Armstrong comes in. He says, I wanted the challenge. Come on, Nero, let's run. Juan Martin, uh-oh, loft shot. Stewart, oh, that was two different plays. And Stewart kept the throttle down. Walmart said, so I'm going to play the safe one. And Stewart went for it and got her done. In the corner they go, Armstrong running a turn and running it nicely. Great second effort by John Bigford. Left in there for Bellini. <clears throat> He's got Nero. Masito, little pop shot out to the outside. Nero, Bigford going forward, Gansey already down. There's a little hole in the green machine defense, and there it is right there. Horatio's got to come from right to left. Here comes Bigford. Bigford, pick up. John looking for goal number three here. Backed up by Horatio. Loose ball play. Take it out. Oh, a little bit of a jousting game right there, but Pablo will get this one. McDonough, left inside now for Gansey. And Double G's going to run the corner. Good ball control. Once. Twice. Still has time. Taken off the doorstep by Rosho. And I'm not sure if that one went in. We'll check with our mound official on that one. 
It was his right down inside. No goal on the play, so that'll keep it at two to zero. Bigfoot's gonna get the first two. We'll send them off for some fresh ponies, and we'll be right back. This is the Just for the Fun of It Cup. <laughs> The world's best polo in your pocket. Chucker TV, the only app you'll need to watch polo. The world's best polo in your pocket. Chucker TV, the only app you'll ever need to watch polo. Introducing bubbly sparkling water. Crack a smile. So it looks like we got Julia Tyler turning turning in from uh, Seven Eagle from San Diego. Hey, Julia. Stephanie and I miss that beautiful place you live, of course. Rancho Santa Fe, big part of my wife and I's polo career, as you could say. It's actually where it started. So I always like hearing it from out in San Diego. Hope all is well out there and everyone's being safe with the COVID-19 pandemic. And keeping it right, Julia, thanks for tuning in to Trucker TV today. Alexa, oh, where you been, Alexa? Big shout out to Alexa in southern Florida, of course. Holding down the fort in Loxahatchee, Alexa. We always love it. Thanks for coming on. And, of course, we will be home soon. We will be home. Trust me. We're having fun up here in the Mount Zoo and keeping the uh, S5 Polo Club has been a lot of fun this summer. And also has worked very hard to keep things safe here in the community that we live. Here we go. Going to be on the second chucker action here. Two to zero here just for the fun of it. And under the neck they'll go for me looking for, looks like it's going to be McDonough and Pablo at the deal. With Bellini, and now he'll slow it down. He's going to get a shot down the field here, looking for Hildebrand. Jeff, oh, it goes right just past. Oh, Bigford and Hildebrand come together. Now, there's one. Oh, well done, Stewart. Finds the open gap, and look at Hildebrand on the Bay Pony, out in front of Bigford, gets a piece of that one, just a topper, and he gets cleaned out of there by Nero, and now taken out by Bellini. That's good, good, uh, Communication there by that by the Casablanca team. Grant Gansey now working it with Pablo. He'll take it forward about three or four times. Now they come together. Horacio makes a neutral play, and that's perfect because there's Pablo. Hey, everybody turning up field. We got Stewart running on the right. We got Hildebrand to the left. Bigford. John gets a hold of it, gets it back a good 30 yards, and Nero says, let's keep it going, guys. They're going to run the far turn as we click to five minutes. Here in the second chucker. Bellini. And he's got Nero again. Off to the races here as it goes inside. Backed up by McDonough on a huge back shot it is. Looks like Horacio. That was Horacio. He finds McDonough. McDonough looking for Hildebrand. Backed up by Nero. Nero looking for Gansey. Grant, nice scooper on the near side. Oh, he goes for the cut shot right there, right in front, but nice attempt. 
That one will just roll right off the side, the left side. And Casablanca will line back up as we have 420 on the clock. Hello, Aspen, Colorado. Horacio will bring this one in. Jeff's got to slam on the brakes here, but good rotation by Armstrong. Stewart. Look at this. Pablo going forward now. Nero and McDonough. McDonough's going to take a one-timer. Good call, Jeff Hildebrand. Look for the deep cut shot here by number one. There it is, Hildebrand. Well done, Jeff. And a nice little belly to the left. And well done on the call. And a fabulous, fabulous assist there by Pablo McDonough to get Hildebrand on the move. And Jeff's going to get the first one here of the day for Team Tarqua. And we'll come to the center for about 3.36 on the clock. And we'll have our second courtesy change of the day. So, of course, we always like to bring it up here with the COVID-19 pandemic as we are here at the property facilities of the Yes Valley Polo Club is only accessible to their polo players and immediate families and necessary staff. Of course, this policy will remain in effect until further notice. You check all of our updates on Instagram, Facebook. We're out there. Of course, TruckerTV.com and the Aspen Valley Polo Club.com. <clears throat> you can get all your information there. And, of course, we are immensely grateful, humbled by the excitement that we've had from our outside fans. And we do apologize for not being able to let them enter at the moment for safety of our community. Here we go. 333. On the move down the left side. Jeff's going to get there. Backs it up. All right, Hildebrand played the defense, man. Coming back and forward. Now they go forward. Pablo's got everybody running forward, even Horacio. Horacio's got two targets. Hagee, there's another ball. And I told you, perfectly placed. Look at Stuart Armstrong on the near side. Now deep cut shot. Got to turn it inside. Good ball control, Stuart. Control, flip, ooh, met in there by Nero, and the finish, oh, take it off the doorstep by Ganzi, and here comes Nero, great second effort there by Casablanca, man, what an attempt though by Stuart Armstrong, opened up, nice back shot by McDonough, and hey, he's going to run right onto this one, Horacio slows it up a little bit. Now the outlet pass, looking for Armstrong. Nero comes over, Horacio ducks in behind, backed up by Bellini. Everybody turning quickly. Who's going to get there first? Looks like it'll be Pablo McDonough. McDonough says, let's go with the tail shot and perfectly placed for, for Horacio. Hagee's going to look for, look like Hildebrand downfield. Jeff in a good spot. They come together right there with Bellini. And he gets left there for Armstrong again. Stewart. He's going to slam on the brakes on the big chestnut. Switch to the near side. That's going to work out. And now they'll slow the pace. And my, oh, we going to come in there. John Bigford, nice ride off. Back to McDonough. And here comes Juan Ma. Juan. Monero. He's got Gansey going forward here. Wow, I'm going to snap one here, 120 in the air, well read by Horacio. And it looks like Gansy's going to press him here a little bit. Now the tail shot, Pablo McDonough, watch out. They come together as he's going to get there. John's going to jump on that one very quickly, get around the corner before McDonough. And good read there by Bigford. It looked like Pablo was pulling it up. And then he's like, no way, Bigford's already on the roll. And knocking coming. Down the right side over there. Looks like it's going to be Pablo McDonough. We're going to click under a minute here in our second chucker. Two to one. Now on the move. Oh, Stewart's going to the throttle. And they'll turn the corner, come the other way. And here comes Grant Gansey. Grant with his first full run of the day. He's going to slam it down here. 
Now he's got to deal with Hagee. Horacio with the ride off. Backs it up. And, of course, there's Pablo. Oh, Horacio pulling the Carlos Casita senior move on the near side. Horacio, that was beautiful. Jeff does a play here. Oh, Bigford gets a piece of it. Well done, John. That's all you needed was two yards, and now Pablo. Pablo with the reverse near side bang. What's up, man? These guys, unbelievable. Now Greg comes in, steals it away. Loose ball play. Stewart's going to try to grab a few more yards. Now will enter a second chunker. And I got to tell you, there were some of the most interesting shots I've seen in a long time. And that chunker between Hagee and McDonough, I'll go through it when we get back. Stay with us for Trucker TV. Alexa says she misses us. We miss you, too. Alina, what's going on? Checking in. Thanks for getting on Chucker TV today, of course. Get on the Facebook conversation. Let us know what you're doing, where you're at. Two to one here. And uh, John Bigford, we had the first two goals of the day. And I got to tell you, coming off a, uh, he had a little bump and run on Friday, I got to talk to him about it. He said, no problem. He said he had a little bit of an injured hand. But, man, he came out very strong in the first chucker. And, uh, well, scored the first two goals. Then Jeff Hildebrand in the second chucker. And Jeff got a wonderful pass from McDonough. Now I was falling out of my chair on a few shots that I saw this last half. And that's one thing I love about my job is to see some beautiful plays. And first of all, let's just talk about Hagee. Horacio pulled the Carlos Gracita senior move where Carlos used to open that back shot to the right side. and used to run onto it. Horacio well, Hagee opened it to the near side and ran onto it. That is just butter, true butter, Montequilla. Unbelievable. And then Pablo McDonough, with the reverse near side neck shot. So I've seen I've seen the reverse near side forward back shot, but he did it on the near side. So well it's a it's a near side shot. Near side neck shot but backwards. It's a reversal. It'll be on the top ten plays somewhere. You'll see it. But that's what we've had here, 2-1, to one, but just a fun game. Back and forth, very, very fast, up and down the field. Gaston Dorniak got him lined up here. And we'll get this third chucker underway. I got Rufy Merlos in the house. Merlos is amazing today on the wheel. Whoa, boy, you got to watch that tape. He said, I'm going to go back and watch it. All right, here we go, on the next shot, Rufio, we'll get you, uh, we're going to get you the co-commentator, but we're not going to be able to do that today, all right? We're going to get it on another day because we got to get organized. we got to get the math. We've got we to get our social distancing. You know, we got to do it. we got to talk with our executive producer and follow all the CDC guidelines, all right? 
So Rufy says no problem. He says he's ready to get back on Chucker TV, though. So we'll get him back on. As Rufy, you still are still today. You stand as the youngest person to ever be a co-commentator on Chucker TV. So congratulations. On the far side is going to be Bellini, and that's Juan Cito. On the move, Juan Cito. Wonderful shot inside the 60. McDonough is going to check his pony down, run the corner. Haggy. Big Fern, snap, looking for another goal here. Oh, well read by Don Bigford. Nice back shot, and that's just a great read by Juan Cito Bellini to put Horacio on his hip so he could pick up that ball because Horacio Hagey was on his way, and John going to get a perfect assist there as we come back to center. All right, everybody coming back. Trying to gather themselves. Now that one goes all the way out the back side. And Nero says, all right, guys, let's keep it going here. Juan Martin. Oh, Juan Martin. Look at this ball from 120, 130, just off to the right side. And it looks like, oh, Candace is watching. Hey, Candace, we hope you're feeling better. I know you have your leg up there. Candace had a little injury, of course. Candace Fierra. The wife of our executive producer tuning in today, Candace. We hope you feel better. So shout out from everybody here. We miss you. All right, on the move is going to be picked up here now by Mer Nero across the center, and Hagee will do it. He's going to give this one up. Hello, oh, here it comes. Keep an eye on this ball, everybody. Keep an eye on this one. There you go. Well done, guys. Thank you, guys. And they're going to stop that one. Good hand, right? Good eyes. That ball is coming off. Oh, Papa was trying to run the turn on the near side. Now I want to just skip out of bounds on him. And, yeah, you can leave it there. There's no problem. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll get it later. And here come all the Merloses. That Foley Merlos. Hey, your brother's getting good now. I got all the one-wheel one players doing a flyby for me. Juan C. Tobolini's going to get the run there and pick up a goal on the move, and that'll be his second one of the chucker. So they're going to keep that one cruising. All right. Back to the center they come. And Juan C. Tobolini will pick up his second one of the the day. Oh. Yeah, we actually got some other birthdays here. We got some early birthdays on so this courtesy change. I want to say an early birthday to Sophie Novisa Estrada. Of course, her babies were playing today. And of course, she is the wife of Nacho Novisa Estrada. So, Sophie, happy early birthday. And of course, we had, well, Silver. And Santos played today in our one-wheel competition. So I hope she has a happy birthday. And we'll thank everybody for that. Jennifer tuning in. She says, hi, guys, from Chicago. Right up, Jennifer. We're in Chicago yet. Because Chucker TV was at the Oak Brook Polo Club. That was way back, Mike. I think you remember that. We went in there for their international day. And I think we did the first interview ever with Michael Butler. There, big shout out to Michael Butler and the whole Oak Brook family there. We enjoyed being there with Chucker TV. So thank you for joining us today here for the just for the fun of it. Hey, everybody back on four to one right here. Two by Big for two by Bellini and Casa will not slow down here in this third Chucker. It's just been one of those Chuckers. They have been all over it. Big ball by Nero plies the pressure. And it'll be Hagee, <laughs> again, Horatio. And I got to tell you, Horatio Hagee, I talked about it last week, for him being here all season long, even down in Florida. He's a fun guy. He's an amazing guy. Please check out his Instagram. You will see uh, Poetry in Motion, that guy. And he's been here working with the Santa Rita feeding operation, of course. He also worked out with the WPL, the World Polo League, this winter. And it has been fun to have another Hall of Famer in the house. Six-time Argentine Open winner, of course, from the fabulous Hagee, the Flying Hagee family. Let 
Sophie's birthday's tomorrow, and so we'll make sure that we. Said, and also, a happy birthday to Tono Navisa Estrada, father of two of the Aspen Valley Panthers. Tono, man, what a guy. Happy birthday to Tono Navisa Estrada, of course, father of Alejandro and Nacho. And then Sophie is his niece, or his daughter in law, duh. And uh, man, all the kids are playing, and that's so much fun to see that. So, congratulations to him. Happy birthday. And we'll have to find Sophie, grab a hold of her. Here goes Grant Gandhi, penalty four, six yard shot. Grant's going to lay this one down the center. Hildebrand says, no problem. Oh, no, that's actually Armstrong. He stayed in the front. Jeff was down inside. Now, oh, Stewart wants to run a little bit. Nero says, let's go for it. Now, down the far side they go. I love when they stretch them out. Nero checking the shoulder. Let's run the turn. Picked up there. Everyone overrides. Backed up by Bellini. Oh, and Juancito. What a ball by Bellini to keep Nero running forward. That was, oh, man, that is so much fun. That, that's a ballet out there. Perfectly done. Look at this. Now Pablo snapping it in. Bellini and the save on the doorstep. Bigford going to run it out of there, gets a piece of it. Pablo puts it back inside. Grant gets a piece of it, and I think he'll get a whistle there. It looked like he stopped that one across the field, Grant Gazzi. And Stuart Armstrong was 90 degrees there, so somebody's wrong on that play. So it looks like he's going to be the player following the ball. I think Grant actually touched it last. They'll drop that ball right inside the 40-yard line, and now here comes Nero. He's not wasting any time. On the move, Grant Gandhi. Oh, Grant was saying, I'm out of here. He was on the way. He was on his way there. Bounce off. He did a little turn on it. He got there right as that ball was coming down. Oh, Bellini comes in there. Now look at this. Gansey and Bellini on the run. One seat, though. There's the perfect approach shot, always to the far post. So you can belly in from left to right and pull out the putter, and that's the way you finish. Juancito Bellini is going to get three goals in this third chucker. Getting a hat trick. Juan liking the gray pony. Definitely looks very comfortable in that one. So back to the center, we click down under a minute. On the far side is going to be Hildebrand. And that one gets picked up again by Horacio. We will click under 30 seconds here. Horacio gets a piece of it. Backed up by Bellini. Oh, Juan Ma. Going to get dropped the hammer here. Sending Gansey forward. Nero, not wasting any time, keeping the ball moving forward. Good pick up there by Stuart Armstrong, though, to take Gansey out. Here comes the loose ball play. 30 seconds left. Can McDonough get one? 5-1 to one at the moment. Pablo, McDonough on the move. Pablo snapping one. He's got Horacio going forward, but he'll grab leather and give it to Bellini. Bellini's going to back one up. They'll override. Grant says, let's just move it along. No need to touch it. Eight seconds on the clock, taken out again by Juan Martin. And Grant will gather, gather a few more yards there. And that'll end it right there, right there before Grant hit that ball. Now, Tony, I also want to say congratulations on having so many beautiful grandkids. They are here playing polo. They're on the wheels. So, man, your bloodline is so strong. And I want to tell you, my wife Stephanie and I want to say happy birthday also. It was so much fun meeting you and your wife in to uh, at the uh, Wellington area. So, happy birthday, Tom. All right, well, we're going to go to a halftime here, and uh, we're going to have, well, we have overtime coming to you. So, we have an interview with Josh Cohen and Pablo McDonough. Enjoy this halftime. We'll be back here on Chucker TV and just for the fun of it.
and welcome to another edition of Overtime, where we get to spend a little extra time with our favorite polo players and personalities. And once again, we go out to Aspen to our friend Pablo McDonough. Nice to see you, my friend. The weather looks terrible. You must be hating it right now. No, yes. Like, we can't even uh, play golf here. We cannot fish. We cannot do anything. You know, the weather has been yeah. so, so bad that it's difficult to do nice things. Yeah. It looks miserable. We all feel terribly for you. All right, everyone, here's how it works. There are six chuckers. It's a question per chucker. And uh, we'll just get a little real with our friend Pablo. Question chucker number one. If you weren't one of the top polo players in the world, what is a job that you would secretly love to have? If not doing this, what would you love to do? I would have loved to be a um, professional golfer. Uh, it's one of the things that I did a lot when I was young. Uh, even more than polo, I really liked it when I was seven, eight, nine years old, and of course my life uh, and my family and everything took me to to polo. Uh, I had the choice, but uh, anyways, that that's the the one thing that I would have liked to to try to see how far I could have gotten. If not polo, it would have been golf. Okay, chucker number two. Name a celebrity that you'll admit you got a little starstruck in the presence of. Who is that? Uh, Roger Federer is the guy that when I met him, uh, the only time I met him in Wimbledon at the Players Lounge, it was something uh, I was a little bit shocked. Uh, that never happened with other athletes that I that I met or or there are other stars in in the, I don't know in the actors or whatever. So or even singers. So say Roger. He was made you a little like, nervous. Roger made you a little nervous. Not a little, like very yeah. very nervous. I think I told you this before, but actually when I interviewed Roger, he said that you make him nervous. <laughs> so I guess it was mutual, it goes both ways. I'm sure Chucker about it. number three. Chucker number three, which is your favorite restaurant there in Aspen and why? Uh, Matsuisa, just because it's, uh, I, I've never been to Casatua, but Matsuisa I've been many times and it's by far one of the the best restaurants I've ever been, not in Aspen, in, in the in the world, you know, so world. I'm, I'm yeah. really, I don't know, if there is one place I want to go for dinner, it's definitely Matsui's. Aspen's a pretty good eating town, uh, good food to be had, yes? Yes, it's a yes. great place. Gain a little weight. Chucker number four, name a movie that you'll watch every time it's on TV, even if you've owned it, even if you've seen it many times. If it's on TV, you'll stop, you'll watch it again. Which movie would that be? Uh, well, that movie could be Gladiator. That's the one Gladiator. that I, yeah, that I've seen many times. And uh, I haven't seen it for a while now, but it's the one that I enjoy watching over and over. Yeah, yeah very lighthearted, um, funny film. Great for the family, young kids. Yeah, great, very great for my kids. Matter, right? <laughs> Classic. One of the great films of the 21st century. Chucker number five, what would you admit is your most irrational fear or phobia? Irrational fear or phobia, what would that be? Irrational, um, I would say spiders. Even with the ones that they don't do anything to you, I, I'm really scared, like really, really scared. And even if they are really small, I, I hate them. So that would be one of the fears that I can't control. And I. And spiders are spiders. Yeah, spiders are, are not fun. There's one actually on your shoulder right now, <laughs> on your right, on one other shoulder. Just, yeah, in, just, just in case, I'm gonna check. There you go. All right, you're almost done. You're almost out of the hot seat. Chucker number six. What are you enjoying most about playing with the Aspen Valley Polo Club this summer? What are you enjoying most? It's to be honest, it's quite difficult to say one thing that I'm enjoying uh, most because it's a. Uh, it's uh, I don't know. It's so many things together that make this this place quite special. The polo is very relaxed and fun. The I really like playing golf, as I said before, and and uh, we get to play in different courses, and they are all amazing. Then fishing is the one thing that I didn't do before coming here ever in my life, but now I'm starting to enjoy it. It's a good thing to do with friends and family. Uh, I don't know. Besides from it's the weather, life. yeah, yeah, the problem is the weather, but it's the rest a, of the things are great. Yeah, other than that, yeah. yeah, inside the beautiful bubble there in Aspen, Colorado, 
the Aspen Valley Polo Club, all of our friends, Grand Champions Polo Club, of course. Um, that's some watch I can see from here. Is that a sponsor watch I'm hoping that you're wearing right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, one of the Richard Mills. Uh, put, put it near the camera. Put it near the camera so we can see that. Let me, oh, look at that. That's a pretty good knockoff. That almost looks like a real one. Yeah. <laughs> Pablo, I'm kidding, of course. Thank you for taking time. Appreciate it, my friend. Nice to see you again. That is, thank you, and I hope to talk to you soon. Not that soon. I hope so as well. I hope so as well. <laughs> Everyone, make sure that you are following on social media, Aspen Valley Polo Club, Grand Champions Polo Club, and, of course, Chucker TV. Download the app if you haven't already. Some watch online. Otherwise, through the app is good, too. And we will see you next time for more overtime right here on Chucker TV. Guys, here we go. We're going to jump right on this. And lay. we've got the Facebook going live now. Bobby, how you doing? Jerry, Bobby played out here. Bobby, big shout out to you. Thanks for watching us on Chucker TV. Bobby's out here playing at the Athletic Polo Club this season. So, Bobby, we miss you, man. It was fun seeing you. Turo, what's happening? Paul Corker, you're my man. Tuning in to Chucker TV. Leslie, she's there. And boy, yo, que pasa, man? And Jamal, what's going on? We got a lot of groups there. Hey, everybody tune in. Let's know where you're watching from, guys. We always like to know where we're watching from from around the world. And uh, from Pakistan. Wow, that's awesome. Thanks for tuning in from Pakistan. That's cool. All right, well, if you're just joining us here, we got Casablanca against Tankawa for the just for the fun of it. I have the one here after the first, but it was a, kind of an interesting first half because there were only two goals scored in the first, John Bigford. Then no, then one by Hildebrand in the second, and then this uh, Juancito Pellini took over the third chucker. It was the Juancito show. So John Bigford, Grant Gandhi, Juancito Pellini, Juan Martin Nero, they're in the light jerseys today. And, of course, the green machine is Jeff Hildebrand. I think Jeff's going to do the honors. Jeff's going to walk up there. Oh, what a stroke, Jeff. Bad luck, man. The master shot. I like the walk-up shot and also firing it right at goal with authority. And it bounced off the post. And I think I've seen like four or five different balls this, um, this week here at the Asphalt Pole Club. Bounce off of the post. So everybody's shooting that goal. Here we go. And now again, John Bickford's going to get his first touch of the second half on the big chestnut pony. John trying to run inside on Hildebrand. Nice pick up here, Bigford. That's a nice line, John. Will that one go? But just off to the left as Horacio just pushed him off the side. Mealy Galindo tuning in. Mealy, where you at? Say hello. Oh, you are. You're up in Sheridan, Wyoming. Where? Oh, Wyoming. Yeah, I know. That's where your daddy is. Shout out to Hector Glindo, Mealy. Thanks for tuning in to Chucker. Give everybody up at the Flying H love from us, please. Say hello to everybody. We love that area up there, of course. There's our family up there. All right, on the move. Backed up in Nero. Across the center. Who's going to get there first? Ah, Stuart Armstrong says, I'm going to run and gun now on the move. Stuart turns the corner, looking for the next shot. No, he goes for the open back shot. No, he decides to turn it. So in the corner, no, there's the open back shot. And that ball's on line for Pablo McDonough. Stewart's going to connect with McDonough. And that's how you get him standing in there, just standing there watching. Nice play there by McDonough. On a fabulous-looking blue-gray pony here. Love that color. And that'll get him on the board here, 5-2. to two. So, Team Tonkwa. Keeping the roll going. And they're going to be Hildebrand now. Says, all right, let's go. Jeff gets out of front. Well, the Jeff, three in a row here. Get to the hook of John Bigford. Left in there, taken around the corner and held by Nero. Juan Ma going to go ahead and hit the tail shot as he got his boys turned up field. Hildebrand's got to give one play. Bellini said, let's go the other way. I like it. 
Casablanca using the field nicely. Well done. The chess game in fashion. Big ball by Nero, who's got the power. Looks like Bigford and Hildebrand. John's going to get a near side play. Back to the center. Can't drag it forward. Hildebrand's going to run the turn. Gets him moving a little bit. That's all he needed because Hagee will get there, and he'll back that one up perfectly once again to McDonough. And if I say perfect one more time for Rashi Hagee, this guy hits the ball so perfect, that's why he gets all the love. Perfect pass. We'll have to start using different adjectives for Mr. Hagee now. Horatio tries to steal that one out of the air. Pablo says, no problem. Let's get running. Now, I like this. Oh, here's a horse race. McDonough, Bigford, Pablo. Oh, two times on the near side. Look at the gray pony. Flying down the side right here. John on the back shot perfectly changes the angle. Juan Martin loves that. Juan Martin, Wama. He's going to get pressure by Hildebrand. Now, Juan Martin down the center looking for Ganzi or Bellini. Now Gansey will come together with Armstrong. Stewart leaves it on the field. Gansey will leave that there. Oh, look like he was on the lead for Wanma, but he wasn't sure that line might have changed, and now it's going to be McDonough on the far side. A very, very fast chucker here as now comes Hildebrand. Jeff, oh, what a pick up here. Bigford going back on the ball face pony. He gets a little back shot, doesn't miss a ball. Off to the right side. Juancito will gather himself. On the gray pony once again. Every time he gets on a gray one, you got to watch out for this kid. Juancito takes it forward. He'll override. And looks like he's going to be McDonough to turn this one up. And he's got three on two at the moment. Down the center and playing zone back, it'll be Bigford. Now Hildebrand. Well done, Jeff. He waits there a little bit. Now Jeff. Going to smoke one. Oh, Hildebrand. And that's great composure, Jeff Hildebrand. Taking his time to wait behind John. Knew that he was beat on the back shot. So nothing you can really do but just stop right there. Hildebrand does. And then what a great finish. And that will make it 5-3. to three. And now we got a match going here. It's going to stop the clock at 111. And we'll switch him up. And remember, the Kersey Chapel only used on dead ball plays or on the bowling well they'll stop the clock and let them change it up but there it's again four minutes of running open style polo fun to watch more fun to play <coughs> looks like Aikens in the house JC McMillan thanks for checking in Andres, checking in from Bogota, Colombia. Hola, Bogota. We like to have Colombia in the house. Man, they're coming in from all over again today. We got, got on just in time here because, like I said, we went into halftime 5-1, to one, but the green machine has come out here in the Fort Chucker and turned it on. I knew they would. You got to be careful. Looks like we got one little tack time going on now after our courtesy change. There we go. We got them all back. All right. This should be a fun 111 on the bowling. Nero trying to stop the floodgates, and he's got Gansey. And, again, Mark Grant's going to get out there, but Pablo's just going to hit one across field looking for Horacio Hagee. Nero's going to get there and go for the deep neck shot. Well read by Armstrong. And now they'll turn the corner here, and that's a huge shot. But Juancito is going to get out there before everybody. Juan opens it up for Grant. Grant's got time to turn it. And Grant's going to have an opportunity maybe here to shoot. Horacio comes over. Oh, Grant Gansey. Once, twice, Grant Gansey. And there you go, double G. Takes the mallet away from Hagee and gets a great finish there. And that's a great way to go into the into their tent after this four chucker. Six to three after four. Stay with us. We'll be back after a few words from our sponsors.
Baseline temperature is eight degrees above normal. Experts are warning that if the current Don't let them in, don't let them see. Be the good girl you always have to be. Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. Never bothered me anyway. C.C. Armstrong down the left me here with their whole family. Welcome, everybody, to the Aspen Valley Polo Club. Of course, watching Stewart play today. And Andre Camilo. Armilo. Armilo. Milo, I hope it is. That's a tough one. Sorry. Tongue twister there, my brother. Echevina. I tried, my brother. But hola from Colombia. Andres, we appreciate you checking in. All right, now uh, this one here, two goal difference. Team Tonkwa fired up here in the Ford Chucker. They actually own the Ford Chucker. See if they can keep the rhythm going here. Jeff's going to come back here, do a little turn on a little chestnut pony. And they'll get them bowling in. Good finish by the Shucker, by the uh, Casablanca team, by Gansey, just to stop all that positive energy <laughs> that Tonko brought in out of the tent. I hope you enjoyed our overtime interview with Josh Cohen and Pablo McDonough. Big shout out to Jeff. I mean, Josh, wherever you're at, Josh. I think he's down in Florida at the moment. And uh, always a lot of fun and doing some great interviews. You go back and check out. I think they, well, we got another one there with Nikki Roldan also. So you can check that out on Chucker TV. And, of course, we're going to have Alejandro Navija Estrada this week. So check them out. A lot of fun. And uh, they're, they're great to watch. This is just a great, great time. I've enjoyed all of those interviews. So take a look at them. On the move, Bellini. Juancito off the left side. He's got one. Oh, man, these guys. Now they're hitting the ball backwards to each other. That just shows you how dialed in this Casablanca team is. They've been working hard. Look at this. Grant Gansey always finding an open spot. Drags it forward once. Oh, nice little play by the number two. Oh, that is great right there. Grant Gansey doesn't have the legs. Will it carry? Woo! Off to the left side. But you got to get like that. Grant takes it on the left side. He takes it on the forehand. Then he flips his hand over on the second shot. And then he snaps a 60-yard neck shot. And it looks like we're going to have a tack time. So they're going to go to fix that tack on the field. Grant, an arsenal of shots there. They never cease to amaze me. Getting better every minute. And uh, so into the game. It's so fun. I've had so much fun talking 
with Grant Gansey and Juan Cita Bellini after the games, between games while I'm here. I get the opportunity to be around all the players and chat with them about different plays. And they, they're in a comfort zone right now. They're learning so much. Playing with Juan Martin Nero, they say that they're just, they're just all ears, and they're doing a great job. Here we go on the far side. Stewart, I love when he presses the seam. Armstrong looking for Hildebrand. Jeff has to pick up big for Stewart with the neutral play, backed up by Bellini. Loose ball play. Here comes Horacio. Hagee with the approach. Bigford out the near side. Horacio lays it in. And an easy goal for McDonough. I'm not sure if Pablo made that one or Horacio, but Hagee did all the work right there. Great. Oh, Horacio got it. So we'll give that one to Hagee, and Horacio will get his first of the day. That's going to make it a two-goal difference here. And back to the center wheel goes. We are going to have another tack time just to make sure here. I think they are fixing the same problem. And once they get that all figured out, remember the tack time. You are allowed to fix your tack on the field. Or you're allowed to go down and change ponies at the end of the field. So that happens a lot. And, of course, uh, well, most players will fix them on the field. And they, voila, nice to see you. <laughs> They're going to go and take this one down on the Far side for a bowling here after the tag time. On the shot by Stewart. Hildebrand on the near side. That's going to be a bomber. Oh, Jeff, that ball was going in, and Bigford saves it right on the doorstep. Well done, John. I mean, that, he was, that ball guy was just right on the line, and Bigford said, no problem, I'm just going to save it. He hits it off the field. Nero gets it back in, and now here comes Tonqua. Now Juan Martin's going to take it off the pony there and make sure he changes the right of way. So great thinking there is he had Hagee coming down, Now here comes Gansey. Big ball. He got Bigford on the other end of this one now. Now John playing the number one. The approach shot perfectly to the center. McDonough swipes that on the near side, cleans it up on the offside, and now they'll run the far side with the green machine. Don Kawan, a good pickup again by Hildebrand. Jeff snapping that near side next shot. Bellini bounces it off a of pony, and now McDonough will control, and I'm going to see Hildebrand going forward. Yep, there he is. Jeff on the chestnut pony. Nice pickup by Hildebrand right here. Nero's got to come back. And try to drag it forward, and he'll run the turn here as he checks his shoulder. And we're going to click under 245. Now, Juan Martin playing the cat and mouse with Nith Hildebrand. <laughs> Jeff rubbing him, slowing him down. Well done, Jeff. Giving everybody time to get in place. Now that ball will go out to the boards. Slide in, Bellini. So that is a run and gunner, and I think they're going to go ahead and start pull that one up right there. We're going to get a cursey change with 2.22 on the clock because, once again, four minutes plus there of run and polo. Everybody just getting everywhere. They'll stop that one over there with 2.22 on the clock, and it looks like we're going to have well, four of the players, five of the players take advantage of this cursey change, and we'll be right back here in this fifth chucker. Well, if you did see the halftime show today, let us know what you think about overtime. Pablo's done a lot of interviews with us. Pablo's been on the overtime. Pablo, Pablo has actually also been on Chucker TV at home. And Pablo's also been on the 60. And believe it or not, all three different interviews, you're going to learn a lot about that guy. All, all different. Yes, sir. We got it. So they're going to rule one off the field. They're just going to take time out for a pony there. Safety always first for the four-legged athlete. Ask for Valley Polka. But I just got to listen to 
my amount of official gas on Dordiac as there was an issue with one of the ponies for safety. They pulled that ball up and gave a possession play in favor of the team that had the ball. So great call there by one of our players to tell Gaston they thought his horse needed to be checked out. Looked like everybody's okay. Of course, our our in-house veterinarian, Darren Livingston, will always take a look at everybody. So everyone looked okay, and that's what it's all about, safety first. So good job there. They bring it back inside. Now they come around. We click under two minutes. It's going to be Pablo McDonough. And that one's going to be a huge shot down the side. Looking for Stewart. Oh, what a pickup by Armstrong. Now he's still got time here. Stewart grabbing leather, turning the corner around and around. They go Armstrong on the ball. Good play here by Stewart. Keep it out in front of Nero. Ooh, he almost got the shot off. Nero gets a piece of it. Armstrong going to press it back inside. Looking for McDonough. But Nero gets there. And the two tangolers slap mallets, and here comes Bellini. Juancito running right into your living room right now, wherever you're watching Chucker TV from. Big ball by Bellini. Speed stick one time. Who's got the power? Juancito on the outside. Oh, tremendous cut shot. But Stewart's going to eat this one up and run the turn full speed. Armstrong cleaning up. He'll leave that one for Hagee. Hagee, neutral play with Gansey. Here comes McDonough. McDonough's going to launch one. 100 yards to the far side. We click down under a minute. Now, Bigford, he can't make a play. Hildebrand says, let's keep her moving. Hildebrand now, Bigford. Bigford again does not miss a ball. Takes that one back. Only moved three yards. Perfect for Nero. Nero's going to crush one from a standstill. Bellini and Hagee. Who's got the horsepower here? Inside the 60. Juancito. And that one's going to roll right off the side. And Hagee's going to press it there. So six to four. We got a ball game right here. Anybody's ball game. You don't want to miss this six, Chucker. We'll be back. Forget about vacuuming for up to a month. Shark IQ Robot does it for you, then empties itself into a base you empty as little as once a month. And unlike standard robots that bounce around aimlessly, the Shark IQ Robot maps your home and deep cleans row by row. It even removes hair with a self-cleaning brush roll, all with more suction power than Roomba i7 Plus at half the price. If it's not a shark, it's just a robot. What Juan Barreto, man, watching Chucker. What's up, Juan? Big shout out to Juan. Six to four, and the first goose egg of the day here for Casa. And then Taco chipping along, as we say. John Bigford. John, if you play this good, injured. I can't wait till you're not injured, because <laughs> I got to tell you, man, had a little slip on Friday, bounced right up, though. He's a tough guy, but he, I got to talk to him before the game, and he did say his right hand was hurting him, but you know adrenaline, it's a special kind of drug, they say. <laughs> you know it. Good luck, John. Six to four here, and this is anybody's ball game. Mr. Scott Devin, how you been, my man? Thanks for tuning in, Chucker TV. You need to come out here to Aspen, Colorado. 
and see us out here. You like playing that open style running gun and polo, Scott Devin and his dad. Big, big thought there. Shout out to his dad, of course. Back in all the Chicago days, we had we had everyone from Oak Brook watching earlier. Or Jennifer from Chicago, Scott. They're watching too. Caputo. Let's well, big shout out to them in Chicago. All right, here we go. Get behind your team, six to four. And you know quickly two goals can be made up. Scott, thanks, man. We really appreciate it here, man. Of course. I know. My Stephanie said, when are you coming to play? She's up at these, the high cam today, Scott. She said to say hello, too, to you and the family. All right, here we go. On the far side, this should be fun right here, our six-chucker action. McClure River Ranch, field number one, Aspen Valley Polo Club, just for the fun of it, Armstrong. Looking for Hildebrand. Uh-oh, Pablo's going forward. McDonough hits a piece of that one. Bellini reaching way back. Composure, holding the ball. Takes it inside, gets a little help here from John. Bigford in the rumble seat. Now Bellini has to deal with Hildebrand and McDonough. The back shot it bounces off of Nero's pony. And Nero says, John, I got it. Ooh, and they come together. Nero, McDonough, nice little shade there by Bellini to give Nero an opportunity to escape. Now, down the right side, looking for Grant Ganzi. Horatio is going to pick him up quickly. Hagee comes together, turned down and controlled by Ganzi. Nice little play, double G. Once, twice, three times, great ball control. Ganzi enjoying the Bay Pony. Gansey in behind now Armstrong. It bounces off the pony, and great effort there by number two as they all just pounced on him as he got into 60. Now as they run the turn on the far side, we're going to click under five minutes. That's going to be McDonough backed up by Nero. Horatio's got to wait and go into the neck with He's going to change the field. Horatio. Quantro, what up, Quantro? It's good seeing you too, man. Quantro, thank you for getting, checking us out here at the Ask by Poco. That's going to get flipped out. Quantro Tolson checking us out here. He was here this week. Hope you come back. Quantro, want to see you out here. All right, it's going to be Hagee. Once, twice. Now he puts it down to center. That one gets read by Nero. Nero takes it on the near side, and he's got to deal with McDonough. McDonough's going to put a hip on him. We're going to click under about four minutes here. Oh, now you got Walmart dropping his shoulders. Nero's going to slow down, knowing he's got everybody going forward. Wait for Gansey. Grant's going to slide it. Oh, lean way back, Grant Gansey. Now keep it going forward. Doesn't get the next shot, but a nice pickup to control the pace. And, of course, the clock goes tick, tick, tick. Now, back inside, it's going to be, looks like McDonough, or Hagee actually looking for McDonough. Backed up again by Bellini, but turned inside by Armstrong. Armstrong, ooh, he had McDonough going forward. That's going to be a broken play. Now, Hagee and Gansey, Gay neutral play. Left inside, here comes Armstrong. Stewart says, let's run the turn, guys, under the neck. Cleans it out, Texas style. Puts it out in the corner as Gant. Oh, there's a little finesse for you. Grant with the fake back shot gets a turn, but it gets taken out by Tonkawa. Three minutes on the clock. They have been running and gunning for three and a half minutes here. On the move, picked up by Hagee. Now it's going to be McDonough. Pablo gets backed up by Nero, and John's going to get a breakaway. Bigford. That one goes off the side. Grant's got Bigford going forward. Nice little shot here over the head of Hagee. Shot on goal by Bigford. He'll override, and he'll get turned out by Horatio. 2.35 on the clock, and again, just stellar polo running and gunning. 
Not a foul, not a goal, actually. Bigford gets the back shot perfectly to Nero. Nero makes the hook on Armstrong, and they got to give him a play. Juanmar is going to spin around, and I think you're going to get a stop here, as I would stop it, too. <laughs> yeah, they're going to stop it right there, and I like this stop here. Applause, please. Four minutes of running polo, guys. That is so much fun to watch. And you know you got to take care of the four-legged athlete when you run that much. We're going to stop it right here on a possession play with Nero. And, of course, remember, the uh, that's why you use the cursey change. Longest horse race in the world, two and a half minutes. Did you know that, Gaston? The longest horse race, two and a half minutes long. And they just ran four and a half minutes. So give it up, man. Whoa, that is cool. That is just good polo, man. Fun to watch. You got it. Adam Figueroa, what up? Hell of a run. You got it. Keith Porter, what's going on for Cincinnati? <laughs> you got it. Look at you guys. You're ready for the Greenleaf Polo Team, huh, Adam? <laughs> well, we'll see him out there. Bring the Greenleaf Polo Team out. I know you're getting that going. Good luck with that. All right, here you go. 219. On the clock. It looks like Pakistan. <laughs> Coming to us again. Mehdi, what's that, Mehdi? That's cool. Coming in from Pakistan. We got a lot of people watching from Pakistan today. All right, we're going to get them out here. This should be a amazing two minutes and 19 seconds because everybody is on a fresh pony here. And if you just saw the beginning of the six chucker, you could understand what I'm talking about. Alfredo, welcome from Park City, Utah. Here comes Nero. Looking inside, picked up here, Hildebrand. He's going to leave it there. He knows they got to give one play. Good play, Bigford. Pulls out of there, doesn't want to foul. Here comes Jeff. Jeff gets hooked by Bigford, left inside. Oh, little pump fake there by Bellini. He stands, McDonough still. Pablo goes with the whip, said, no, no, no. Now Nero, snap, oh, looking for Bellini. And that one's going to go just off the left side, and we click under 144. I want to thank everybody for getting on the Facebook conversation today. You guys are on it. That was cool. Final chucker here, 129. And you need a steal. You need a you need a coast to coast like butter and toast right now. You want to try to apply the pressure. Hildebrand, he can do it. Jeff on the far side. Got to get one play here. Bigford knows it. Oh, Pablo says, I want to run with it. Oh, McDonough, Pablo. Now Hildebrand, Jeffy. Well done, Jeff Hildebrand. Pablo McDonough on the move. Pablo, second attempt. Oh, yeah. That's the way you finish. And we're going to see one here as they'll be able to stop this. And if they don't all get back here, and they'll be able to get one more bowl in and maybe get the equalizer. What a play as Hildebrand feeds it back to Pablo. And Pablo says, thank you, sir. And that's a great finish, Pablo. He's always good for that. All right, here you go. 30 seconds. They're going to get it. There it is. Can they get the equalizer? Team Tonka on the move. It's going to be Armstrong. Stewart battling it out with Nero. Stewart under the neck with it. Armstrong one more time. Lays it just inside. Picked up here by McDonough. 13 seconds. Shot on goal. That ball's going to roll inside the 60. Stewart still has a chance. <laughs> and Nero's going to grab it and knock it out, and there you go. That will wind her down. So 6-5, to five, I want to thank Casablanca, John Bigford, Grant Gandhi, Juan C. Tobolini, and Juan Martin Nero. I want to thank our mounted official, Gaston Dorniak. Thank you so much, sir. Well done. Great job, my man. And Team Tonqua, Jeff Hildebrand, 
Stuart Armstrong, Pablo McDonough, and Horacio Hey, I want to thank everybody else, too, on the Facebook conversation. Thank you for getting on. You know, we can't do it without you guys. We love that you guys come on and you enjoy the polo from all over. Man, they were all over the world today. We had Colombia. We had Pakistan. They're in Malta. Man, they're and of course, don't forget about Chicago, Kentucky, Florida, everybody watching. So we're going to send them off here. I want to say thank you to all the Trucker TV fans and, of course, everybody here at the Asbury Polka. We are going to have our trophy presentation, but we need to give them. We're going to have a, uh, we're going to do a, well, we're going to do an overtime. So you can watch overtime with Nick Rodan and Josh. And then after that, we'll have our trophy presentation. So uh, we'll be back just for the fun of it. Welcome to Overtime, where we spend a little extra time with our favorite polo players and personalities. But since none of them are available today, let's talk to Nick Weldan instead. I'm kidding, of course. Brother, how are you? It looks beautiful. Tell us, how are Josh, you? How's, how's everyone doing? Josh, what's going on, brother? Good to, good to finally catch up. Everything's good here in Aspen. Uh, uh, you know, we've been very, uh, very blessed and, and grateful to be in, a, in such a beautiful place and um, being able to play some polo out here. So... Uh, it's been a great summer. We got a lot of, you know, the top polo players here playing, and uh, we got some great tournaments and a lot of uh, outdoor activities. So we're having a good time, man. We're having See, a good time. I was going to say, scenery's not bad either, right behind you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So no, on overtime, on, on overtime, we do six chuckers, six quick questions uh, for you to be as honest about. Let's begin. Chucker number one: Which actor should play Nick Roldan in the movie based on your life? Who's playing you? Oof, man, that's that's a good one. Uh, I don't know, I think maybe, maybe Chris Hemsworth or, uh, mm. yeah, I think Chris Hemsworth could be a good one. Or, or, or maybe his brother if he's not available. Or, may, or, or, or maybe his brother if he's not available, right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Chuck, Chucker so, number two, yeah. Chucker number two, which is better, five goals in a game or a hole-in-one in golf? Oof, a hole-in-one in golf. I still to this day have not had a hole-in-one in golf, which is uh, pretty pathetic considering how much golf I play. So, uh, But I have to say probably five goals in a game is a little bit more... Uh, is a little bit more uh, exciting, so and a little bit more, uh, yeah. So, what is, what is the most goals you've ever scored in a single game? Uh, um, I want to say nine, ten goals in a game, probably. Wow, wow, yeah. Great, greedy. Yeah. Should share the ball maybe once in a while. Spread yeah. that around. <laughs> exactly. Chucker exactly. number three. Who was your very first celebrity crush? My first celebrity crush, Oof. Cindy Crawford. Yes. Cindy Crawford. Yes. She's. Um. I mean, she's obviously beautiful but uh that, that was i was one of my definitely one of my crushes as, as growing up so for a lot of us no argument there for, uh, yeah i'm sure yeah chucker number four if calories carbs and fat did not count for just one food item which one food item would you choose it be for pizza baby love my pizza yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's, can you uh, uh, I, Can you get good pizza in Aspen? Is it available? We have a place called New York Pizza, which is pretty damn good. I mean, uh, uh, you know, obviously New York City pizza is, is amazing. And, and uh, you know, I've only been to Italy once, but I heard the pizza there is pretty good, too. But I have to say the, the pizza here in Aspen is good. So shout out to New York Pizza here in Aspen. I mean, the, the Italians kind of invented it. So when you say it might gonna, be pretty was, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> might, might make sense, Nick. Uh, deep dish, Chicago style, thin crust, New York style. Uh, thin, thin style. Disappoint me. I'm a New Yorker too. You yeah. still disappoint me. I Chucker know. number five with Nick Roldan in a celebrity karaoke competition. Which is your song for the game winner? Oh, I think uh, maybe a little Tom Petty, Free Fallen, or uh, really? a little Journey. Yeah. Maybe a little journey, you know, uh, don't stop, what's this, I don't know, even know what the saying is, don't stop believing, what's the name of that mm. song? I would imagine if we, it's your go, I would imagine if it's your go-to for the win, you might want to know the name <laughs> of the song, let alone the words to the song. It's a good thing they're printed on the screen, right, Nick? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Josh. <laughs> One or the other. Chucker uh, number six, all good, yeah, my friend. Yeah. What oh, is man. the very best part of playing polo all summer long in Aspen with the Aspen Valley Polo Club? The very best part. I don't think there's one best part. I think it's uh, it's 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 everything. It's the, it's Aspen. It's the town. It's the restaurants. It's the activities. The hiking. The biking. 
and the polo. I mean, the polo is getting better in every year. Uh, um, you know, we've got two new incredible fields that are now two years old that have, you know, in prime shape. You know, we got some of the best polo players in the world. Um, we've got eight and nine teams per weekend. Uh, you know, Aspen Valley Polo Club is growing and we're in Aspen, man. It doesn't get any better. So we're, we're super stoked to be here. And we're and uh, I'm definitely grateful that I can, you know, that, that I can, can obviously share this with you guys and, and experience it. And, uh, you know, thanks to Mark and Melissa and, and the Aspen Valley Polo Club. Uh, we're out here having a great summer. So what a great job they've done in the development of the game and the love of the game out there yeah. in Aspen. Nick Roldan, yes, thank you for your time on Overtime. Um, maybe learn the name of the song when you're competing to sing it. It'll be easier that way for the DJ to play it. Uh, make sure that you follow Aspen Valley Polo Club on social media as well as Grand Champions Polo Club and, of course, Chucker TV. And we'll catch you next time for more Overtime right here on Chucker TV. The world's best polo in your pocket. Chucker TV, the only app you'll need to watch polo. The world's best polo in your pocket. Chucker TV, the only app you'll ever need to watch polo. Introducing bubbly sparkling water. Crack a smile. Welcome back, everybody. As we say, well, finishing day here, run and gun and pull there. So our players are coming up. We just want to let you know, give you a little update here. As we wait for our players, we don't want to rush them back to the to our trophy presentation. So if you'd like to stay with us, we are going to play a little music for you, but we will have our trophy presentation. And I want to thank you again, once again, for joining us here on Chucker TV.
All right, welcome back, everybody. As we have our trophy presentation, thank you, Team Tonqua. We appreciate you guys coming back up. And we'll get everybody lined up here. Let's get Casablanca on the left. Team Tonqua on the right. Thank you, guys. And there you go, just for the fun of it. And it was one of those games, just for the fun of it. Up and down the field. Team Tonkwa, here they go. Jeff Hildebrand. Jeff, thank you, Jeff. As always, Jeff, grab yourself one of the Gucci gifts right there while you're there, Jeff. And, of course, Hildebrand. Two goals on the day, Jeff, but I think the best shot was the one back to Pablo on the run. I like that one. Yeah, Pablo like that one. Playing number two, yeah, the runner and gunner. And he's got the crew right here, the Armstrong family. It's nice seeing everybody here with CC. Of course, Stuart. Pablo McDonough in the red helmet with his beautiful babies right there. They're going to come up and help him there with the Team Gucci. And then Horacio. Hey, Horacio. You're another one. Hey, Horacio. The Carlos Casita move. Instead of opening it, you hit it under the neck and turned on to your own ball. You called Pablo off it. You made my day. <laughs> I love that stuff. Casablanca, they're back. John Bickford, he's got ice on his hand. He scored two goals, and he was hustling all over the place. So, John, nice to see you. I'm glad you got to participate today. As he had a fall on Friday, but bounced right back on it. Double G, Grant Gandy. Come on up, Grant. Playing the number two, one goal on the day. Hustling and gustling out there, as always. Juancito destroyed the third trucker today, Juancito. You had a triple, you had a hat trick in the third, and you love the gray mare. And, of course, number four, Juan Martin Nero. He's captained the team so beautifully here in the Aspen Valley Polo Club. Juan, it's been a lot of fun to watch. And, of course, it's one of his little babies. And we got to see, well, their baby play the one wheel. So there they are right there. This just for the fun. And one more time, Team Tonkwa, thank you, Mr. Hildebrand. And, of course, for our Casablanca team, thank you, guys. It was a pleasure to watch you guys and call the game. We had a lot of fun. Thanks again, guys. All right. So that's going to go ahead and end our day here at the Aspen Valley Polo Club. And so we'll close it down. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you, guys. And I'm going to get some pictures right there of everybody. And we'll go off to the side over here. So once again, thank you, everybody, for wearing your masks and keeping your social distancing here at the Aspen Valley Polo Club. Safety always first, please. Promote that wherever you're at across the nation. I'm Dale Schwetz, and I speak for the whole Chucker TV family when I say thank you for making us the leaders of polo broadcasting. And, of course, when you see a beautiful day like this at the Aspen Valley Polo Club, you know why we at Chucker TV say we love the polo. <laughs>